Hello and welcome to day 13 of our Road to Easter Devotions. My name is Ellen. And my name is Ian. Our title today is The Meaning of True Greatness and the reading is from the New Testament part of the Bible from the Gospel of Luke chapter 22 verses 24 to 27. A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was to be considered the greatest. Jesus said to them, the king of the Gentiles lords over them, and those who exercise authority over them call themselves benefactors. But you are not to be like that. Instead, the greatest among you should be like the youngest, and the one who rules like the one who serves. For who is greater, the one who is at the table, or the one who serves? Is it not the one who is at the table, but I am among you as one who serves? In this passage from Luke, Jesus teaches his followers about the meaning of true greatness. They had gathered together for a meal and were arguing amongst themselves about which of them was the most important. This was not the first time they had talked about this, as similar discussions are recorded in other parts of the New Testament. There were certain conventions to be followed for seating arrangements at a Jewish feast. The most important guests sat on the host's right hand side the second most important guest on the left, and so on, with the least important guest seated furthest away from the host. The disciples were therefore quarrelling about where they were going to sit and which of them was the number one disciple. Jesus explained to them that the standards of his kingdom were not the standards of this world. The book of John tells us that Jesus washed his disciples' feet before they sat down for this meal. In those days, roads were dusty most people would walk and sandals were the common footwear of the day so when someone arrived at their destination their feet would be dirty, smelly and washed by a servant. So by washing the disciples feet Jesus had performed a task that society saw as lowly. In complete contrast to this the rulers of the day tried to make themselves look important and demanded that people obey their authority completely. Jesus made it clear that it isn't the right attitude to have, but rather the only person who could be really great is someone who serves other people. Jesus himself had demonstrated this when he washed his followers' feet. He did this to show that he'd come to serve others, which is what he calls us to do. Jesus did not mean that if you serve in a lowly place, you'll always be given a great place. He meant that in God's eyes, the lowly place is the great place. Jesus teaches us that true greatness is in serving more than being served. So our challenge is to rearrange our priorities and see what we can do for others. There are many things that we can do to serve or help other people. And something that we may think is a small gesture can really make a big difference to someone's day. And by bringing blessings to others, we'll please God and follow his way. Thanks for joining us today. Hope you'll join us again tomorrow.